Well, I made it out here, and uh, Larry, and what's your name again? Jordan. Jordan, we're here. And check this out. Look at all those. Got Indian heads. What is that one? So Indian head. And Larry, look at his pile. But you can watch his video to get to see his. <laughs> Um, you guys were only here for like a couple minutes? <laughs> yeah. yeah, 30 <laughs> seconds, I mean, you know, I waste time. Wow. I think that's the biggest score I've seen come out of here. I think it in is. In one day. Yeah. But they're all pennies and stuff. But that's okay, and that's good. Larry's got, look, a mercury dime and another mercury. Wow. And I've been here, I just barely got here and I was talking to him and I found one. Oh, you found one, okay. <laughs> Well, see, he's using the Garrett AT Gold. I guess it's gold, oh, gold wow. and coins, he said. There it is. There's proof. It works for coins. Yeah. Wow. I want the ATX. <laughs> <laughs> and all kinds of artifacts. So, yeah. So, it doesn't matter what you use. You can use my cheap metal detector, Larry's <laughs> medium grade one, or this $700 one here. <laughs> <laughs> I found the gold over here. <laughs> all right. I'm going to get to digging. All right. All right, I'm going to do a live dig. If I can do one with one hand. Let's see here. <clears throat> oh, I see it. <clears throat> it uh, looks like a weedy. That's, I think, my third one already. And I'm going to keep going. I'm pretty happy with that. I didn't get skunked, so that's what makes me happy. Well, I just found another one. It's under that rock there. Let's see at the date. I'm gonna show, I'll show you guys at the dates when I get home. It's kind of dark today. But yeah, it's still going. Well, my batteries finally died on me. It's been about six months, though. Um, luckily, I have some spares. And the problem I'm going to have, though, I don't have any tape to hold them in. Because you can see, look at the batteries just kind of floating there. So we'll see what happens. I'm running out of time. Um, I came kind of late today. I got a few pennies, so if it falls, falls, at least I didn't. I'm not walking away with nothing. But anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and change those batteries right now, see if I can. Look at that guy. It's a pretty good size one too. I mean, I don't wanna touch them, but. Pretty creepy. Uh, there he goes into a hole. I thought it was a snake, it was so big. Yeah. I'll show some of the terrain I was trying. There was a homeless guy over there. Uh, I stayed on Larry's spot for a little while. I got four coins, I think. I'll go ahead and show you the dates when I get home. I might try a spot on the way out here. We'll see what happens. All right, I made it home, and um, well, here's what I got. I was pretty happy yesterday, <laughs> even though I got away from the pennies. I got two 42s, um, a 48, 1948, 1957D, and 1929. A 1951 and a 1982 which is kind of strange but anyways I'm gonna get right to it look at this baby this I think is silver um, it sure looks silver I didn't see any uh, markings on it but hey 
I think that might have been old when they lost it. Looks Victorian. I think it was a mirror. That was where the handle was. But it's heavy. I mean, that's. If it's silver, that's a good amount of silver. And it probably is. From my experience, that looks silver. And it rang up like a can. I was like, I'm just digging everything. Because I wandered away from where the pennies were, or where the ch coins were. And uh, sure enough, I did pretty good. Oh, and then I found uh, this. This actually has some writing on it. Maybe you guys could read it. Has a patent date, which was 1900. It says, it says May 2nd, 1900, something like that. 1900. But maybe you guys can see it. Some kind of buckle, I think. I'm not sure. But it's a pretty cool find actually has a date on it oh and this one yeah this one has a bunch of writing on it I don't know what it is though um, there's actually a, more than just writing there's like a design on there but if you look right in here there was a rock stuck in there and made a hole it's kind of damaged but still pretty cool it's got to be old I mean there's like these little hoops inside there which is kind of weird oh and then I got this I think that goes to a lantern I don't know really haven't cleaned the stuff up very well it is what it is then oh yeah this one lots of cool buckles this time this one actually has an arrow see the arrow and I found these before. I'm not sure what it is though. It's some kind of clip. Maybe off a gun strap. I don't know. Um, here's a different type of bullet. Now, if you, anybody knows what any of this stuff is, you can help me out and tell me what it is in the comments. Um, that looked like a different type of bullet than I've seen. I haven't seen one like that. Oh, yeah, and then the shotgun shell. Look at it. It's like brass or copper. But it's the whole thing. And look, they bent down the edges. So they were using it for a container, I think, somebody. But the, it's a, it says Winchester 12 on it. I think that's what I remember seeing. Yep, 12 Winchester. And I got a harmonica reed, I think. Now this looks a little big to me to be a harmonica reed. It's only half of one. Could be off something else. I don't know. I'm not really experienced with that stuff. Oh, and there's a big piece of copper or brass. It's really heavy though. But I could tell because it got scratched. And huge piece though I mean that's heavy it's got some weight to it oh yeah and then I found these horseshoes I've never found them like this before usually the ones I find are like these right here they're kind of more rounded modern day I think unless it's like for a mule or something those those ones they're different though they're like thick this one's really thick it's thicker and it's just a massive thing got lots of wood nails I mean square nails for wood obviously <laughs> there's a nice big one look at that look how big that baby is huh the lighting isn't too good but nice and square I don't even know how they get them started. The tips are like not even sharp. I don't know. 
What else was I going to show? Oh yeah, this thing. It was where I was digging up some metal and but you can see there's like a pattern on there. And I think it actually says something or that's part of the pattern maybe. But it's weird. It's like the outside looks like metal. But the inside is white. Um, I don't think it's plastic. But I think it's a uh, Maybe some kind of vase or something. Um, anything else? Well, another one of those horseshoes, a smaller one, though. I'm going to say this is my best find at this time. Unless one of those pennies are a key day, but I doubt it. Um, yeah, this thing's pretty cool. I'm going to bring it in the light. See if that helps at all. Here's what it looks like. Get an idea of the size of it. Um, it's the inside rim. And the outside has flowers on the top, and a flower on the bottom. But I checked with my loop and I didn't see no date on there, so I think this might be my best find this time. I'm pretty happy with it. I don't want to drop it. Real heavy. Anyways, um, I had a great hunt. I found four of those pennies over where Larry was digging. And then the rest of them I found other places. I didn't really want to tape too much because I didn't have much time. It was getting dark fast and I was just like going and going and going because I really wanted to cover some ground and just explore. And it paid off with that. <laughs> and some other cool stuff. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video. I uh, can't wait for the next one. And hopefully I'll be getting my car fixed real soon now and I can go get some gold. That's it for this one.